Hi friends, uh, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to do a normality test using uh, SAS University Edition. So before uh, going directly on how to do a normality test in uh, SAS, uh, let's learn a little bit about uh, what normal distribution is about. So normal distribution is a symmetric distribution as you can see here in the picture. So take this picture as an example. And this picture is a perfect uh, symmetric distribution where most of the observation is falling in this central area. So that means uh, most of the central tendency data, mean, median, and mode uh, fall at the same point. So, uh, so for any normal distribution, uh, which is a bell-shaped uh, distribution, bell-shaped curve, uh, mean uh, is always equal to median, and that is also equal to mode. Uh, we do not use mode uh, for the data analysis in most cases. Um, we mainly use mean and median. And in this kind of normal distribution, distribution uh, within one uh, standard deviation, plus minus of one standard deviation from mean, almost 68% of data or 68% of population falls. And within standard deviation of plus minus 1.96, uh, 95 percent of population will fall uh, as you can see here so this is within um, plus minus one plus one and minus one and that is within plus two and minus two so most of the data is falling in this area and if you go slightly further and uh, if you do plus plus two and minus two then uh, almost 95 percent uh, of the population is uh, falling and if you go slightly further which is plus three and minus three then 99.7 percent of population or data is falling in that in that area so there will be very few almost negligible amount of data negligible number of uh, data is falling in that area which is away from uh, plus minus three standard deviation so if you see here uh, as an example uh, in the center of the picture uh, there is a perfectly normal distribution where mean median and mode is equal and falling at the same point which is here uh, and on the left uh, there is a left skewed data where some of the uh, let's say outliers for now um, are falling in this area they may not be outliers you need to do outlier test but uh, let's assume this as an outlier for for now so this uh, some of the, um, the data are falling in this area and they are making this distribution left is skewed and uh, mean is here median is here and mode is here and same goes with this picture here which is right is skewed so some of the data are falling in this area which is making this uh, curve uh, right is skewed uh, so that means mean is on the right side median is in between here uh, mode and mean and mode is on this side so that means this is not a perfectly norm this is not a normal distribution whereas this bell shaped curve here in the middle is a normal distribution so uh, so when you do uh, do want to check a normal distribution uh, so you have to do uh, Shapiro will test of normality uh, and you can use proc univariate procedure using SAS and um, and uh, if uh, within within while while doing that um, that Shapiro will test of normality using proc univariate procedure uh, your null hypothesis will be that uh, the distribution of your sample uh, your research data or whatever data it is will be equal to distribution of the normal and if uh, p value is less than 0 0.05 uh, for Shapiro will test uh, which I will show you later on then you consider that as uh, no, uh, as a data which is not normal and uh, the important thing which you have to consider is it is residuals that should be normal or um, or it is residuals that you should check for normality test not the raw data because whenever you have uh, two three treatments you would you have to assume that uh, that treatment will have some effect on the data set which may affect the normality of the of the data set so it's not the raw data which is uh, which is uh, to be looked for normality test it is always the residuals i'm 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 showing you on on my sas uh, what uh, is meant by residual and what is meant by raw data while i'm doing actual test so
so let's go to the data set which i am using as an example uh, to show you how to do a normality test in sas so if you see here in this excel excel i have i have uh, already put in two uh, two data set here uh, so this uh, let's take this as an example um, uh, which is the effect of uh, different treatments on weight of birds so this is just a serial number um we have 36 uh, uh birds and we have uh, treatment abc so that means we have uh, 12a 12b and 12c so 12 of the three treatments um, and we have 36 cases that means birds are housed individually and that's the initial weight of the board and that's the final weight of the board um, um, after uh, exposing to those treatments uh, so let's uh, go into the SAS guys so so this is the SAS uh, coding page um, from university edition uh, so this uh, university edition is not like a regular edition you can do all of your regular data analysis using uh, using this uh, SAS university edition and this is absolutely free but you uh, have to install it to your computer before you use it so so you can take this uh, as a as a template code uh, so first uh, you will have to name your data so let's say data normality test um, or you can just say data one, uh, one. and then uh, this statement here is always needed for uh, SAS University Edition so if you are using SAS University Edition, uh, Edition remember to um, put this statement um, and then there is another input statement so in input uh, you put all the classes from your uh, your raw data so uh, i had five columns so input uh, first column was serial number second column was treatment and treatment was in uh, was in letter so i always have to put dollar sign and then uh, the third column was case and then fourth column was initial weight and the fifth column was final weight and then i just put cards and then i need to copy my data here um, so let's copy my data here uh, from excel sheet so control c and let's go to sas so i will copy my data set here using control v yeah you can see here my data is uh, pasted well in this sas coding page and then um, then i just need to put this semicolon sign uh, and then if i want to see that my data has been pasted well in um, my data is uh, is uh, good uh, good in sas then i what i can do is i can just uh, type uh, proc print and then run let's see let's just uh, run this statement and see what it will do yeah as you can see here guys so my data is uh, perfectly printed uh, so do not worry about uh, last three column uh, which is uh, uh, residual so we'll just worry about uh, first five columns so serial number treatment case initial weight and final weight and you can see and the data is working really well uh, forget about last three columns for now only worry about five first five columns so let's go to code again and then then the statement here uh, is a is an analysis statement and i have used a glim mix um, uh, glim mix uh, you can use proc uh, proc glm or proc mixed uh, it depends on your data set and depends on various other factors so mine is proglimix and then class is treatment and case and model is final weight uh, which is subjected to treatment and then the ls means will be for its treatment and then to get my residual i am using this statement here so which is um, which is uh, which is this statement so you can just copy paste uh, um, or use this exact statement to get residuals for your data set and uh, if you just uh, uh, run this statement let's see what it will say so 
So let's run this statement. I haven't done my normality test yet. Yep, so this is the result from that analysis. And if you can see here, and so p value is less than 0 0.05. So that means there might be a significant difference between treatment, but you should not trust this because we haven't done normality test yet. So let's first do normality test and then only uh, check whether we can trust this analysis or not. So if the data set or if the residuals are not normal, then there is no point in doing a significant test uh, because you have to make sure that your residuals are normal and then only run a test. If the data is not normal or if the data has different distribution, then you might have to use different distribution or different uh, or, or you might have to tailor your analysis depending on the distribution. So for example, some data set could be Poisson distribution, some, some data set could be uh, binomial distribution. So it really depends so first you check normality distribution and then identify what kind of data set yours is and then only run run data analysis so now let's do so don't trust this uh, f value don't trust this type 3 test of fixed effect uh, first do normality test so let's check whether this, this data set is normal or not so so this is a statement you can use uh, in SAS to check your uh, check whether your data is normal or not, which is proc univariate uh, data second, which is coming from here output, and then um, variety is residual student resid, and you are also getting histogram for those residuals, and then you are running it. So let's run it. Yep, let's scroll down. Yes, now you can see here, guys, um, this is the histogram of student receipt. And let's see Sapiro Wilk test. Uh, so this is not showing Sapiro Wilk test. Uh, let's check uh, if there is anything missing here. Mm. Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, so you, you can see here um, the data is. Uh, uh, you can see here Sapiro Wilk test and p value for Sapiro Wilk test, which is more than 0.71. So um, that means this data set is normal. So if the p value here was less than uh, 0.05, then it would have been um, it would have been not normal, and then you will have to change you will have to change your data analysis uh, step, or you will have to use different distribution. So, uh, so, so we now know that this data set is normal as you can see here in histogram as well. This, the curve looks really nice and bell shaped. So that means this data set is normal and that means you can, you can trust, uh, trust the previous P value. So, so this final data set is normal, um, as you can see from, uh, see from the, see from the data analysis. So I hope uh, this video has been uh, really useful to you guys. Um, please uh, let me know on the comments section below and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.